Hey. Morning, the wife. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Good morning. Yes. So, what should we do today, inshallah? What's our plan today? We need to complete which unit? And we're getting to unit uh, three, right? Yes, unit three. Complete unit three. Uh, the last lesson we focused on here. Do you remember? Last lesson. It was based on reading. Class yes, I remember. And the prepositions of place, right? And the listening part four, right? So today, inshallah, can you see my screen? Uh, no, I didn't see it. Right, that's it. So today, inshallah, in a while, please give me your full attention to finish unit three. Right, let me start with um, the second the grammar focus. Did you answer, Yana Wav? Did you answer the, the passage reading part three? This passage. Uh, this, where this is it? Sand, sand sculptures. Sand sculptures. Here, page uh, 26. Or twenty eight. Can you see it? Uh, I think uh, the last lesson you just told me. Re uh, uh, read it. Okay. Did you answer it? Uh, no. No. Uh, quickly now, well, what? yes, here uh, uh, in reading part three, as you did before in A to level, you need to practice skimming, then scanning. Skimming, look at the picture, read the title, and read the first and last lesson uh, sentence in each paragraph. Then start the scanning. Throw number one, read the question, and look for the answers. And the good point here in this part, that it, the order of the questions based on the order of the paragraphs. For example, paragraph one or question one, it, uh, uh, it should be, yes, the answer to this question should be in paragraph one. Question two should be paragraph two and so on. And sometimes okay. you have questions, sometimes you have two questions in the same paragraph. For example, you can find question two and the three in paragraph two and so on. Right? Okay. That's why, that's why you need to, to start with the skimming to define the key idea in each uh, uh, paragraph. Okay? So I give you two minutes. Please skim the passage. Yalla, quickly, please skim the passage. Okay, teacher.
Nowhere, finish skimming. Nowhere, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Did you finish skimming? Uh, yes. Okay, so now start scanning. Question number one. Why did Adrian or Adriana decide to start making sand sculptures? Sculptures are يعني as you see in the picture, يعني تمثيل أو أشكال بالرمل. This one is it's made of sand. صناعة بالرمل. The shape of the may be buildings, may be persons. It depends. Why did uh, Ariana decide to start making sand sculptures? Okay. So here, look for the answer. Why did this one? It should be in paragraph one. One. Yes. So what is the answer? Yes, start. You have four minutes or five minutes to finish. Read the question. Define the keywords in each uh, uh, in each question. Why? Why did decide to start making sand sculptures? I think the answer is the uh, mm -hmm. uh, finish C, right? Yes. Which question? Uh, <clears throat> You mean question one? Yes, I'm C. No. Why did Ariana decide to start making sand sculptures? C, she wanted to do a new outdoor activity with her friends? No, no, D, D, D. D, yes, she was impressed by some yes. objects that were made out of sand, this one. Yes. Okay, this is right. Type question two. Yes, complete. Answer all of them in a while, please. Okay.
Uh, teacher? Yes. I want to uh, read it uh, in your. Uh... <clears throat> Yes, number two and one. What did Adriana realize when she started making her first sculpture? Uh, hmm. Okay, I think it's uh, B. B. She thought it would be easier. Perfect. Five, three. How did Adriana feel when her first sculpture failed? Mm-hmm. Paragraph three. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, B. She was embarrassed because of it looked. Why embarrassed? I tried everything to try and fix it, but it was hopeless. Soon the whole thing was a big pile of wet sand on the beach. Some people, some bathing nearby seemed to think this was extremely funny. But that just made me want to keep trying even more. So she wasn't embarrassed. I wished I'd listened on an expert, YouTube, who recommends digging up wet and also use it. So means what? Huh? Means she regretted ignoring some useful advice. This one. Read what? Yes. Right. In the final paragraph, what does Arena say and noise and noise here? What does mean annoy her? Yeah, it disturb her. Yeah, it makes her unhappy. Right? Yes. Here, people damaging her sculptures, well, the sea covering her sculptures, well, the weather destroying her sculptures, well, the people believing it is only a hobby for children. Read the last paragraph. Okay. Okay. Huh. Finished. Uh, not yet. Only last paragraph. Yes. Uh, I think D. D? Yes. People believing it is uh, now. Now. Read at the beginning, Rob. Here, the last paragraph. Making sand cats for kids, no others, but that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, but here, and I get upset. I get upset, Yani worried. When that sometimes happens, when someone what fell off, which takes or can take ages to rebuild, means this is the right answer. Hey, hey, right. Hair. Yes, exactly. People damaging hair sculptures. Okay, now what? So please, uh, please uh, uh, apply this in while reading, uh, approaching reading part three. Uh, start with the skimming, then start uh, scanning by 
reading the questions, defining the keywords, then looking for uh, uh, the answers. Okay, Nawaf, clear? Yes. Like based on this, yeah, Nawaf, based on this, have you ever experienced it? Have you ever experienced it? Uh, making sands or sand castles, for example, or sand houses. Do you like staying on the beach? Uh, yes. So would you like to build sand sculptures? Not really. It's not interesting for me. Okay. So which activities below do you enjoy doing? Here, flying. A kite, all these activities, you know, what beach activities, beach activities, yes. or you can yes. say water sports like flying a kite, or a sailing, or a sunbathing, or a swimming in the sea, or a windsurfing. Uh, I think it's uh, swimming in the sea, I think especially. Uh, I like that. Okay, so which one you not like to do and why? So you are interested in swimming. And which yes. one you don't like to do? Um maybe um stealing, maybe. Stealing. You yes. hate do you hate sailing? Yes. You why? Why you hate sailing? It's is it boring for you? Yes, it's it's a boring for me. Mm -hmm. Is that funny for me? Is it not funny? But I think sailing in a while, it might be good for some other people, like like uh, enjoying the open fresh air, uh, enjoy uh, fishing, for example. Do you like fishing? Uh, yes. So I think sailing, it's a good chance to, to fish. You know? Yes, so, maybe. And spend your time fishing or doing something useful like this. But anyway, okay, so now let's move to uh, uh, the grammar. I think this, we did this before in WAF. As you know, we have some verbs that you need to write ing to the following verb or write to uh, infinitive, yani two plus verb one. Okay, here example. Okay. Here example. Uh, let's go to page one, 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 double two, one, double two. Okay. For further practice, which verbs you need to write uh, to infinitive and which ones you need to write gerund and which ones or which verbs you need to write both ing or verb. Um, page okay yeah page 22 that's it yes okay here yes which verb is in a while you need to write? You need to write uh, infinitive. Infinitive only. Like what? Like decide, for example, decide. Here. Decide. I decided to become. I decided to become. Look, after decide, you must write verb one. I decided to become, I decided to travel by car. Okay? And also we have other verbs. You must write ing, like keep the following. Keep, after the verb keep, you must write ing. Keep exercising, keep uh, revising for the test. Keep sleeping uh, uh, early, for example. Right? Yeah. Okay? Type. Like, we have some verbs can followed by uh, either an infinitive or ing form. 
unfortunately يا نواف we don't have rules there are no rules to help you work out whether verbs are followed by infinitive or ing so you will need to learn them so you need to learn them by heart يا نواف لازم نحفظهم the first group teacher yes what the others the other verbs uh, are like uh, decided Yes, that's After it. After that, verb one. Verb one, exactly. Like that or not? Yes, look at this. Read the verb session here in the box. This box, Yanawaf. Can you read them? Afford. Uh, okay. Afford. Agree. Agree. Uh, Rang. Arrange. Equipment. Uh, Choice, choose, decide, I choose, expect, accept, help, hope, intend, uh, learn, manage, over, plan, uh, abuse, steam, want, would like. That's it. So all these verbs are well. Must followed by two infinitive. Okay. Clear? Right. The second group, these were just I give you one minute and a half. Try to write them, please. And write as much as you can. How many? How many are there? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen verbs. Write more eyes as much as you can, please. Uh, do you mean write more verbs? Yes, write no no not more verbs. The same verbs, write them and you do you have a notebook? Have you got a practice uh, notebook in a while? What teacher? Have you got a notebook? And uh, the notebook uh, معك يا نواف ولا ما عندك؟ Now, now. Uh, let me see. Let me see. If you can write, if you can write the verbs again. Okay. Or let's go to the next one, and uh, I'll give you further practice. Type verbs. Okay. I and you know what. Yeah, after these verbs, you must write, you must write I in G. Can you read them, please? Um, admit, admit, avoid, admit, yeah. can't uh, stand, can't stand, uh, con, uh, consider, consider, dislike, mm -hmm. don't mind, okay. enjoy, fancy, feel like, yeah. finish. Finish. Give up. Uh huh. Imagine. Mind. Okay. Miss. Yeah. Uh, post. Uh, post. Uh, practice. Uh, practice. Uh, prevent. Prevent. Uh, put off. Uh, suggest. Suggest. So all these verbs must followed by a gerund. Yeah, I and G. I admit. Uh, uh, for example, committing the accident. I avoid uh, over speeding. I can't stand eating ice cream. I consider huh, sleeping late tonight. I dislike uh, sailing. I don't mind using uh, 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 yellow color, for example. And, uh, and so on, you know. Can you please okay. use these verbs in meaningful or true sentences for you? As I did now. Do you want me to give you an example? Yes, yes. Especially the start verbs. The start verbs show your dislikes and your likes. For example, okay, uh, I can't stand eating fish for breakfast. Okay, and you can't do this. And you hate doing this. Can you give me... Uh, uh, Sentences make uh, true for you. Yes. 
uh, I uh, I dislike. Mm -hmm. uh, I dislike maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. I dislike uh, falling. Okay. Uh, uh, falling in a an exam. Okay. Yeah. Yes. One more example. Yes. I don't mind. For example, I don't mind what. Yes, the word. I don't mind what. I don't mind uh, okay. opening the window, okay. for example. I don't mind eating uh, uh, yeah. eating uh, salad for dinner, for example. Okay. Uh, yes. I, I don't mind traveling by train to Riyadh. I miss I miss watching. Uh, uh, my my favorite football team last night. I missed both watching. Okay, Sheba, uh, you know what? Do you know the meaning of the verbs? The two groups. Yes. The yes. two groups. Okay, for you, the group infinitive group and ing group. Clear. Uh, yes. Right. Now, verbs followed by the infinitive ing with no difference in meaning. Here we have some, some verbs, you know, have some verbs, you can write infinitive or ing, no difference in meaning. يعني المعنى ما بتأثر. Begin, continue, in a tenth, start. Okay? Okay. Right. Here, verbs followed by the infinitive two plus uh, infinitive or ing with little difference in meaning. Like in fi, yani little difference. Fi bikun shoye ikhtilaf in ma'ana. Like what? Hate, like, love. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one, Nawaf, we, we, we stop okay. after. Uh, in 10 minutes, then join again, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, per per fair. So, there is a small difference in meaning between two formulas. Can you complete this? Huh? I -G okay. action experience is more important. For example, he likes baking mm -hmm. cakes. He likes baking cakes. Here, I -G. Okay, yes. means what? Means what? The action is really important. He loves uh, the baking itself. Yeah, action When you say also, result action is more important to describe a habit or something we prefer. For example, he likes to bake cakes for special occasions. Here, you know, you know we have to bake. Here, bacon, as I told you. So the first example, here, experience is more important. The action or experience. He likes bacon cakes. Means he has experience in making cake. But he likes to bake cakes for a special occasion. Means what? The result of action is more important or to describe a habit or something we prefer. Does it make sense? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes. I I don't know, but uh, I'm really. I think it's the same. You know, uh, he likes to bake cake. Yes. And, okay. Uh, the first one, he likes baking cakes, but I think uh, I mm -hmm. understand it now because. Uh, the first one, the experience is uh, more important. He exactly. Know, yes. You know uh, how to do some baking cakes. Yes. Exactly. But number two, or the second example, he likes to bake. He likes to bake cakes for special occasions. Means what? Uh, uh, he is interested in the result, not the action itself. 
or to describe yes. a habit or something we prefer. For example, I like to play football. I like playing football. What's the difference? So I like playing means he is interested in uh, uh, playing football and he is a good football player. معناه انه عنده مهارة حلوة بيلعب عنده مهارة في playing football. لكن هو الثاني I like or he likes to play football means what? In this way you describe his habit. And how how does he spend his free time, for example? Does it make sense? Yes. Type ING more common after hate. I hate playing ball sports. I love doing gymnastics. Okay, now what? Here we have more examples. Yes. I forgot to say thank you. واحد يقول I forgot to say thank you. معناها I didn't say thank you. If I yes. forget saying that, I forget saying that. I have no memory of this. I have no memory of this. Okay, what does it mean? I forget saying that means he, he can't remember. Doesn't have any memories about it. Exactly. Another one. Go on. He went on to talk about his childhood. He went on. Means what? This was the next thing he talked about. But he went on talking. Means what? He continued talking. You know, the difference, you know, as you see, when you use two infinitive, the meaning is different than saying ing or using ing after the same verb. He went on talking. Okay? Yes. He went on to talk means what? He, he stopped. He stopped doing something. Then... And then he continued. Continue. Exactly. Type, I remember to lock the door. I remembered to lock the door. Means what? I did something. He remember to... Uh... Yes, he did it. He did. Like, and I remember locking the door. I remember locking the door means what? I have a memory of this. I have a memory of this. And he did. I tried to learn Japanese. Yeah. I tried to learn Japanese. But it was difficult. Uh, stop. Me trying something, not succeed. But I tried eating Spanish. Spanish for it, but I didn't like it. Mean track something and find out it's like. Uh, teacher. Yes. We didn't say stop. Where? Ah, sorry, stop. Yes, exactly. Yes. Let's stop to buy flowers. Let's stop to buy. Means what? In order to do something. Like you know, let's stop buying flowers. What does it mean? يعني stop buying and no continue خلاص يعني خلينا ما نشتريش buying thing أو flowers thing. Yes. Okay. So in negative sentences, you know, in negative sentences, we put not after the verb or the the first verb. If had enough, you not it will be after the first verb. And all he has decided not to go. He has decided not to go to university next year. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes. He considered not going. Uh, not going. Okay. If a negative, we use not after the first verb. Type in sentences which include an object. We put the object after the first verb. I helped my friend to fix his car. We should stop people using their phones. Uh, stop people using. If I have an object, if an object is given after the first verb. Yes. Okay. Clear now. Yes. Type. Can you please complete yeah. this quickly? Uh, correct the form of the verb in brackets. Yes. Can you complete, please? Yes. We still have, yes. We should. We we need to stop in two minutes. You know, in two minutes from now, from now we have to stop and join again.
Why? Uh, because the meeting ends only in two minutes. Yeah, the next one. Uh, oh, okay. It's really hot here, isn't it? Do you fancy go for a swim? Fancy to go or going? Uh, going. Exactly, because fancy uh, energy uh, verb. Stay. I'd love have a swim. I'd love. Uh, I'd, love, uh, I'd love. I'd love. I'd love. I'd love. No, I'd love to. To. لو هي ما في ضاء أيد لو ما عند أيد أنا ورف ونخذنا لب هنا أيد معناها would love would love you must write infinitive I would love to I'd love to have okay uh, that means the answer is the to have to have yes because I'd love لا ده مصطلح I'd love if it is without what, yes, you are right. You can use uh, uh, loving or uh, having. Type the second one. Type. Okay, now wife, let's stop now. Let's stop okay. now and uh, join again, please. Okay, you will send me the uh, yes. link. Yes, no, the same link, the same link, join again.